Whenever you... Yeah, all right, we're going. Does that have audio? I don't know. It. I won't be able to hear it back until... Okay. You're live, though. Hopefully this works. But not these mics. Hey, everybody. We are... Oh, we're not even using these. Not even using them. We had a technical difficulty. We're going to move on from that, though. We have a kind of a hanging condenser mic. Can everybody hear me, first yes. off? Yes, audio is on. Here we go. Hello again. All yes, right. you do. All right, we're going to jump right into this. Um, sorry, my hair looks like this. I can't fix it today. It's 91 degrees. The sun is out, and it's raining it in Kansas raining. City. All right, Joshua's here with me. And uh, Joshua, yes, you're just going to read these hate full comments and we'll just we're just gonna go through it mm -hmm. let's do this uh do you want the names or no if they have the guts to say it under their name just say the name okay dave t bass boss said hendrix tone was great but i felt the drummer was calling attention to himself with the weird snare placements you should fire him okay so that's a direct reference to Nick. nick's drumming uh, cool, man. Uh, that's what I want to say. But I also just want to say, like, listen to some Hendrix. The snare placements are weird. Okay. Um, do th we didn't say this, but we're oh, giving yeah. away some vintage pedals. Um, so Josh Driller's going to just pick people? Yeah, let me tell what they are. We have a, a vintage Yamaha phase shifter. It's amazing. These are just duplicates where I find one with the box or a little nicer condition, and then we'll just give the others away. A DDX5, one of my favorite digital delays. And then this is a, uh, a Shockwave by RFX. This is actually David of DOD's company that he started after he sold DOD. It's a super cool preamp. We're going to give those away. Just whenever Josh is ready, he's going to... Josh yep. Driller, or Dr. Iller, as we like to say. Uh, Frank Frank said, Nick, you absolutely do not do your homework. M-O-O-G is not pronounced Moog as in moon. It's... Moog, as in rogue. My God, you are amateurish and quite the simpleton. You know, Nick's not here. He's on a much needed vacation because of these types of comments. Yeah, yeah. And I think I've heard it said both ways. I've I've talked to Moog, this and I've talked I've talked to Moog. I don't. It's cool to have like your way of saying a word, but like I can say it. Any way I want, right? What if it was Moog? What if it was Moog? <laughs> Alright. Uh, White Dawn Death said, Haha, Josh, look like he'd eaten too many edibles. No wonder the music was so good on this episode. Uh, so, uh, against popular belief, I don't do any drug. I, I have no experience with drugs. Um... I don't smoke anything. I don't I actually uh, CBD, but CBD gummies to sleep. But they're like I would have to eat the whole jar. To, no, I don't even think I'd do anything. Uh, We've never, nobody, never ever ever once done anything like coffee. I don't even. Is the I'm, most drinking I'm drinking water. I'm drinking water. Tea. I, I've I've had this problem most of. Well, I would say my adult life. You know, even a teenager in school. Um. Everybody was always like, man, like you're all, you're like tripping. I was like, no, I just, you know, life's fun. And I just have a, <laughs> I just choose to be myself. I think one of the things I noticed with people, I don't want to get philosophical and stay here. is like, if you're trying to constantly live as a different personality to be accepted, I think there's like a reservation in that. I just, I'm just living la vida loca, like my whole <laughs> life. You know what I mean? Does that make sense though? Like, I don't, I am just me. You get what you get. I don't. I, you're. It's just me. Yeah. This is how I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm okay with that. And and now that I'm 40, I've just fully committed to it. You know, I think in my 20s I tried to still be cool or whatever. But I don't know. I don't. I think it plays into how people perceive people. Anyway, we're not drunk or high, and I find those comments really funny. Just because uh, <laughs> we all know each other very well, and it's like. I mean, what you do at home, and you know, some of us might. And teach that's your, fine. Teach your kids about pedals, and they won't be able to afford drugs. That's what Poison Noise it says. Is Vintage Pipes Nightmares said again? The drummer boy couldn't put two words together without saying "like" for two hundred times. 
I respond. So I'm the one that's typically responding on across social media. Um, I said to, to Vintage Pipes Nightmares, that's because we really like the word like around here because we like things and we like being fun. Yeah. To which he responded like, okay. I like I like that comment. It's like when you, you're like looking for something and you like, you find it, but it's like different than what you thought it was going to be like. Right. Cool. Um, which pedal do you want to give away first? Let's give away the Yamaha PH100. This has about a $125 value. It is a fantastic phase shifter uh, made in Japan by Yamaha, not an OEM. Uh, it is depth speed, and you have this one or two, which is like the sections of phase and a feedback control. It's a wonderful pedal, and now it belongs to Fax Mister. Fax so, Mister. Fax Mister. Uh, if you're still watching, please email us at the JHS Show at jhspedals.com. And as Nick would say, like if you're not like Fax Mister, like don't email. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Yamaha phase. Let me write this down real quick. Phase yeah. shifter. It's a cool okay. pedal. Uh, FCO period. This must be an abbreviation that I don't know. Um, said, don't be rude and take off your cap. Have a little respect as your parents taught you. Or do you want to look modern for crying out loud? Katie said this person comments this about once a month. I think that must be to Nick. <laughs> what? Okay, all right, all right. Who wears a hat? Poor Nick. Nick. Um, the only time I've heard of the take your hat off phenomenon is because I grew up in the Bible Belt. And, you know, you go to church or something, and there's right. like, take your hat off, son. This is the, the, Lord, the, house, the house of the Lord or whatever. Yeah. And it's like you hear that. I okay, even and that doesn't metrics. even exist nowadays. Well, so you know what I mean. Generally, I, mean, I do. But. Ge I'm just saying, generally, cultures like whatever wear a tube top to church. I feel like, but now you come in here, <laughs> you come in here like we're jamming and playing like grunge rock, and it's like who cares? I I just don't understand this. Maybe in the comments, I don't know. I don't know. Speaking of comments, Brigham Elkhorn said that I might be too old for my haircut in the comments just now. Uh, Earhart Christian said, we talked about this one throughout the whole office and none of us quite know what this one is. Um, I'm hurting. Earhart Christian said, shoddy got a poopy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sh <laughs> Can I see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the comment... It literally says, shoddy got a poopy. Shoddy, S-H-A-W-D-Y got a poopy. Thanks. Well, uh, good to know whoever shoddy is needs to poopy. Next up. Um, next up, this is an email. I tell you what I think of your playing since the first time I saw you. All caps. You are a no talent hack. <laughs> Just a simple statement of fact. You don't know a mixolydian. I don't know what a mixolydian is. Oh, is that a transistor? Uh, <laughs> from a MOF set, but you do. You are a joke of a musician. Take some of your profits and take a few decades of lessons. Maybe then you would have the musical competency to tell a hack from a pro. Rhett beats you like hands down, you delusional wank. <laughs> Signed R. Bruce Hensel. Okay. Delusional wank lets me know they're in England. That is like, that's rough. That's like directed straight at me. You. Yeah, it's you. You're a no talent hack. You don't know a mixolydian from a MOSFET. You're a joke of a musician. What is him? A mixolydian is like a type of mode scale, like pentatonic mixolydian. So you do know what it is. In yeah, fact. I do know what it is. I don't know. I don't use them. I just play guitar because that's what I find joy in. I'm sorry I'm happy with the way I play guitar. We have a string of short ones, so let's just do rapid fire. I Ready? Like I need anxiety. Bro, myself. where your eyebrows go? And please don't respond with I had cancer and lost them during chemo. That would make me rethink asking. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, you need to turn down your persona personality. Nerd alert, don't be this guy. 
OMG, you got the same hairdo that my Aunt Liz has. <laughs> well, dot, 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 had, I guess. She's been dead for eight years now. Oh, look, Toby Flenderson made a guitar channel. Ringo on the drums. Between the word sit and the word set, it okay. drives me bonkers. We need to talk about this. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about who is Toby Flanderson. Is that that's the, is that the office, the, office. the office Toby HR? <laughs> I've noticed on the show people say I look like him. I don't know if I do. Also, the hair thing is interesting. Like whatever. I mean, I'm sure that this hair would look great on certain women's face. I don't know or their head. I don't know. I, what am I supposed to take from that comment? So the thing I'm getting at here, like, let's talk about the comment. Like, what are we supposed to do with this? What's your advice for me? I'm a hack guitar player. My hair looks like someone's 70-year-old aunt that's been dead for eight years. You don't have eyebrows. I don't have eyebrows. You don't know what a mixolydian is. Uh, what was, and the last one was... Uh... What a, yeah. The point is, what am I... You're a nerd. I'm gonna, what's the path forward? For me. I think that the path forward, if you were to take every single one of these and take just 5% of each criticism by the and adjust your personality, by the end of the year, you would either be a superhero. Yeah. Or you would, well, I don't know. Yeah. I think you should, we should do this in a couple years, we'll do this again. Let's do it again. All right. Um, you don't need an expletive overdrive pedal. You don't need a chorus pedal. You don't need a delay pedal, a compressor pedal. You really don't need any pedals at all. You need a guitar and an amp, preferably a reasonably playable guitar, and preferably a tube amp you can turn up without hurting yourself or the neighbors. Plug in a guitar, turn it up, just to see what it feels like. You might be shocked to find out how many pedals you don't need. Just a thought. So, uh, that's an opinion that is true to the person saying it. Angus Young would say this. Yeah. Keith Richards would probably say it. Right? We have, have and have had people in the shop whose dream is to not use pedals. I'm almost positive, or it's on my short list, like an episode about pedals suck and it's just showing how you can use amps. I've actually done this. Small amps, mm -hmm. odd amps, what a, weird amps. Yeah. Great opinion. Thanks for sharing. These kind of comments are my favorite. Yeah. We, we could talk about it in a sec. Uh, yeah. M. Raider said... Oh, we sit and sat later. Oh, yeah. that I think that's in here again. Okay. Obviously, this guy is a businessman. Oh, okay. So, I'm, I'm ready for this. So he can admire shameless marketing employees to sheep guitar players <laughs> who want to sound like they're heroes. Anyone who thought more than one of these was worth their money certainly has a tattoo sleeve to show his individuality, which certainly does not, or yeah, certainly which does not come out of his or her guitar player. We are a business. So... <sighs> Also, this is on the Jason Lamb DOD episode. This is, let me explain how this feels from my perspective. Okay. I worked like three months on this, phone calls, stuff, educated everyone on a history of lost pedals, told a dead man's, a dead man's story, <laughs> gave him the credit he never got. Then further researched into the heritage of Digitech DoD. All these other stories came out of it. And this is what the guy takes away. You're Why are we watching <laughs> this channel? Like, I didn't make a... Well, we've made monetization, which probably bought us, like, a dinner at Applebee's off this right. video. Oh, shameless marketing ploys. How is it a marketing ploy to promote another company... Well, you see, it's uh, reverse um, psychology. Oh, yeah, I've heard that argument. It's, we've gotten this a lot over the years of, like, this guy's just trying to sell you something, and it's like, well, yeah. Sure, I mean, I have a pedal company. We are a company that sells pedals. Yeah, I started the channel, though, because I got sick of selling pedals and just wanted to tell stories. That's, like, the irony of it is the channel is actually, I mean, I say it internally, it's like the anti-demo. I don't really care to demo stuff. It is just funny to read those comments. Like, to me, the show and the pedal company are very far removed. But I am DHS, and like, I'm gonna show my releases and stuff. It's just interesting. 
Sam Fewer. We'll give away a pedal after five dollars and said it took me to fifty to get to that. I'm me and I'm okay with that. Well done on being there way earlier. Okay. So there's that. Which pedal do you want to give away? Let's next? give away the DDX5 Aria digital delay. There's an episode I did. Um, where, are the are the stingers working? What if it killed the stream? It's fine. Shameless plug. Uh, it's, it's called Metal Pedals. And then I show... I, I first saw this series of pedals that just said Metal. And I found that really funny. It was like liter like the Simpsons thing where the thing says beer. <laughs> so I remember buying that and then I collected the series. And this is just a duplicate. It's a really fantastic early digital delay. So this is like in the spirit of an old DD2, DD3, Ibanez, DDL... Uh, do you, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, we'll give it away, and it goes to. It goes to Brendan Funk. Brendan cool. Funk, you win the Aria DDX5 digital delay. Please email me at the JHS Show at jhspedals.com. Send me your address, your shipping address. Someone ask in the comments. I have my phone put up here. How do we win? You just we're just randomly picking. Yeah. We're just hanging out. Yeah, you yes. can't try too hard. Right. Um, Paul Major said, I'm convinced that Josh actually has a rocking beard. It's just the same consistency as his eyebrows. Okay. Um, I shave every day. Facial hair really bothers me. I actually didn't shave this morning. I have a little bit of a scruffle. And I just don't like facial hair for me. You know, it's a... Can I have the choice? I don't know. My eyebrows are there. I know that. I see them now. I don't know. Soren Again, Reichenberg said, is Josh a turtle? What does that mean? What does it mean, am I a turtle? It means you look like a turtle. Cool. Um, I'm a turtle. <laughs> Spazitron 2000 said, I didn't realize you liked such pure crap in music, dot, dot, dot. Sonic Youth are serious, ugh, come on, dot, dot, dot. I can not respect your taste in music, my god, dot, dot, dot. But your vids are cool, dot, dot, dot. Prob wouldn't own one of you pedals too expensive, dot, dot, dot. But they are cool, dot, dot, dot. You remind me of a wine tasting snob when you talk about the pedals, dot, dot, dot. I love it, dot, dot, dot. This is username Ellipsis. Spaztron. Sp <laughs> To, you. <laughs> to which we responded, I like your taste in grammar. I like, uh, dot, 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 Sonic Youth has done more for music and art than any of us. So, I I don't know. You can not like someone and still have to like them. So, you know, Sonic Youth, Sonic Youth is great. Um, I, again, what's the response? Yeah, moving on. Yeah, There's no on. response to this. Um. Come fly with me, ass. It pays five bucks. Said Josh, you ever thought about doing a Dan Electro real Echo style pedal? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. There's been one in the R and D pipeline for like four years. That's actually based off of an old vintage pedal line that I won't tell you about because I'm trying to find them and they're freaking impossible. And you've never heard of it anyway, so don't get upset. But yeah, yeah, it's very similar. Boat Rex said, that is some look, Josh. That orange slash black shirt with the gray jacket and the 70-year-old woman hairstyle. Wow, dude. So this must be from a and b because I only wear the gray sports jacket on special occasion lives, <laughs> and that was a red and black shirt. <laughs> um, Again, with the hair. Jeff but... Condit at, or asks, how does it feel to be the second most influential... Okay, grammar. How does it feel to be the second most influential to the sound of modern worship music after The Edge? What? Again, what does this mean? <laughs> Josh is a narcissist who gaslights his audience. Could you define that in simple terms? Like, like make his statement in a better way than he possibly yeah, could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's G, Marion. Um, yeah. It means that you're self-centered okay. and that everything you do is for you. It's to shine your light. Um, and your gaslighting the audience means that you are causing the entire JHS YouTube audience to question their own reality. <laughs> John Dubok said, the fact that <laughs> the fact that Josh has children is always so shocking to me, and I don't know why. 
I wish I knew why. I'd love to hear the rest. Of, that was the most interesting thing I've heard. I have three kids. I love them. They're awesome. GDT, it looks like Josh has been drinking a lot or smoking up before recording these videos. His entire demeanor seems like he's barely in it. Again, I'm just living life. I'm, my, I have a motto. You know what my motto is? Live, laugh, love. <laughs> and I come into this studio every day, and I just say, Josh, today you're going to live. And I say my name, I say my name three times, because there's the effect of three. Yeah. Josh, you're going to live. Josh, you're going to laugh. And Josh, you're going to love. What are you drinking? Water. I'm drinking Literally, tea. water. Maru, if you're in Denver, go to Maru. It's amazing. Um, Barton Dudelick said, <laughs> this isn't actually about you. Um, <laughs> Good. No, sorry. He did. <laughs> Hold on. What Bar Barton said was, I can't believe you gave Driller a mic. Much funnier without it. Oh, Driller's in the room. Heart are you heartbroken? Yeah. Uh, he's crushed. All right. <laughs> Tushar Jamal said, you guys delete my comment critiquing the honesty of the company's founders about their education, huh? Okay. I'm going to say something here. We don't, like, people say all the time their comments are deleted. It's just, they just, I don't know what happens. I, Rhett talks about this. I've heard every major YouTuber, put people way bigger than us, comments just disappear. Stuff happens. It's true. There's, There's like some kind of YouTube. Stuff that happens. I don't know. The guy cranking the thing. So here's know. what I'll say. Uh, again, as we the person We don't have time to delete your comments about stuff that's whatever. 98% of the comments is me. Um, yeah. The only time that we delete comments is if they're vulgar. Like if you're vulgar and yeah. you come on our you and any of our platforms and you're vulgar, we're going to I'm going to delete it. If you're questioning us, I'm probably going to be snarky back to you or not say anything. Um, yeah, I'll say something to that too just to super clarify. So this is the JHS show. This is my YouTube show. Now it's a collaborative like there's other people doing things. It's a family show, family environment, clean, good fun. I want my teenage kids and my younger kids to be able to watch it. I want people to not have to worry about what's going on on the show. And I want the comments to reflect that. So, like, if you came to my house and acted like an idiot, I would ask you to leave. And that's how we treat the YouTube channel. So, if you're acting like an idiot and you're being dumb, then you should leave. And you should have never been watching in the first place. So, yeah, we would delete those comments. Yeah. Cool. The funny thing about this one is... is you don't have an education. No, I have. I'm negative. And we're proud of that. Yeah, I've, I've. There's an episode about how I don't have an education, an entire biography. I have you have a mat. You're like a. I have a master's degree. You're so educated. I have a master's degree, and I'm opening his dang mail. So whatever that I, means. Yeah, I don't have. I went to community college, and like did half a semester, and then yeah, I. Whatever. Gustavo Barracon Viega said, uh, why are you putting stickers outside the box? Use a stamp or screen print to make this. Whoa, hold on. Use a stamp or screen print to make this and leave the sticker inside the box as a gift. It will look much cooler. The sticker is in the box as well? It is in the box as okay. well. Brian Buer said, this might be the most sociopathic show I've ever seen. Just wait till you see an episode airing in the next. When's it airing? Couple weeks, you know which one. It's absurd. Oh, oh. Couple three weeks. Yeah, it'll air within a month, and uh, make your judgments then. Um, Sora Cora said that they love our channel. Thank and you. Just wants to say hi. That love really. It was like when you're super thirsty and the drink <laughs> goes way down. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Jack Benson said adding song titles, adding song titles presumably to our description is pretentious in my honest opinion so every song recorded has been pretentious all songs with names of all time okay cool i like that that methodology um kevin said hi i never comment in anything i'm not on any social media except youtube and i don't comment there you seem like a good and smart guy and i own pedals of yours p-e-t-a-l-s you do well in the guitar YouTube community, but I want you to know, for your benefit, that your theme song is very depressing. People who are musicians are very affected by the mood that music creates. I think your pedals are great and the info you share is great, but the mood music behind is so bad and depressing. I don't want to watch your videos. Uh, 
I feel, first of all, I feel sad that this person thinks this, but if you listen closely to the theme song, it almost sounds like a like a like a vibin' Justin Timberlake song yeah. we all know. Yeah. And yeah. it's accidental and it and all of our jingles are like grocery store commercials, like everything's silly and funny. I like the theme song. You wanna know why I like the theme song? out there in YouTube land because it's not like it doesn't sound like ice road truckers you know most YouTube channels <laughs> most YouTube guitar channels and there's nothing wrong with this it's kind of like it's all that kind of stuff and I like our theme song because it's like we don't care about the guitar that much not that much like we care you know I don't it doesn't have to be central to a good song that's the way I see our song, and I really like it. It makes me happy. Anyway. Your show has become so self-indulgent and silly as to be unwatchable. I don't know what to do with that. George, meh, lab coat with shorts and solo driving through the neighborhood two years ago is what got you here today on YouTube. Now it's like watching the dating game, lame, with pedals and guys only, lame, in a studio. Change it up once in a while. Teach school kids at schools about pedals. You got to get them young before their religious indoctrination begins. Plus, you want to sell pedals for the future, don't you? Kids! Old farts that are dead or on their way don't buy guitar gear. You're doing it for our future, correct? We literally have a kids puppet show thing we do. And on my schedule, I'm going to a school that's in town, and I'm taking a guitar rig and teaching kids. So, again, I... Uh, Thanks for the comment. Terra Terra Nuve Nuev Neve said it didn't occur to you that your JHS pedals are so expensive that most musicians without labels, without tours, can't buy them at all. We have to make choices. Other thing, I bought four JHS pedals and the four of them are now out of order. And after your sales service sucks when you live outside the USA. Let me see this. <laughs> It didn't occur to you that JHS pills are so expensive that most musicians without labels or tours can't buy them. So the math on this is weird. Like right now, I think there would be somewhere around... Uh, how many touring musicians are actively touring in the world right now? At this very moment? Yeah, like guitarists. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's under a thousand. Because, like, a guitar, yeah, under a 1,000. So we, we sold over 100,000 pedals, but yet, by this math, we should, only people that are on tour can buy them. Right. So that's a huge issue. We have to make choices. Other thing is, well, and then also, there's so many problems with that, because musicians usually don't have any money. <laughs> Kenny said uh, they can't afford him, but they said they've bought four. <laughs> Yeah, and then, yeah, and he buys four pedals, four are out of order. We have a warranty and excellent service, and I highly doubt. I mean, have you ever seen four? Never. Like, it's... No, no. I, I, no. Used to, I used to do repairs. Yeah. And I've repaired a lot of JHS pedals, but four from and the same person... And our service sucks the A word. It's a family show. I mean, that's a biblical word. Um, <laughs> it is... <laughs> Russell. I don't know. I don't know, man. So all I know to say, we have a budget line. It's 99 bucks, and we've sold a lot. a lot of those. So I think people are fine. Russell Paulson said, I found the JHS show at the start of the pandemic, and it's been a constant source of good feels and music history for me. Cheers, y'all. Again, it's like a big goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it just washed down my soul. Thank you. David Schwab said, sorry, but that bass amp sounds like a dollar sign, dollar sign. Get a real bass amp next time. I I love the bass sound, and uh, I think we get a lot of comments about how good it is. Mike Fitzpatrick, though know. not a genre I would normally listen to, I thought I thought it was pretty good until the poetry. Ooh, that's directed at you. Great show, but I have one minor issue: the poetry. Oh. To me, it just throws a wrench in. What it just throws a wrench in whenever someone starts talking over the music. It's pretty cheesy, honestly. 
No offense, man. It's just my opinion, and it's been in every show when it pops up. The poetry voiceover, distracting. Enough with the poetry, please. Please, please stop. Well, Michael, Robert, and name who I can't say on YouTube, on our YouTube show. There's no music today, so I hope you're happy. Yeah, I want to make another comment about kids' education. Okay. I feel slightly unhinged on this one, and I, I want to be careful, but I want to be really honest. I don't feel the need to constantly say what we do. Is that, is this a say, like, this discussion's touchy. We do, a, we send, we've sent kids to school. We've done all kinds of big, but, like, why should I have to use that and say it? Like, I'm just a firm believer of, like, do things to do good and impact the world around you, and then you don't have to talk about it. I find that very interesting, but yet you see, I've actually seen more of these comments, and it kind of unhinges me, because, like, I don't like living in a culture where, like, you're supposed to do the good thing and, and then, then signal with and it. And then blast it, I, yeah. I just, that's not JHS, so if you're looking for that, you're never going to find it. Next question. Um, you want to give a pedal, pedal away? Because this, yeah. this is my favorite comment, and it's a long one. The Shockwave, this is a fantastic pedal. Check out the others. I actually da, 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 have the old collection somewhere. I need to do this episode. This would be a fun one. There's, they're right. Wait, wait, wait. They're right. They're right there. There's like a bunch of cool stuff in this series. So we'll give this away too. Uh, Bella Curcio. Bella, just so you remember, this is made by the DoD founder. It's really genius. And it's a 1996 kind of, they're not quite rare, but they're rare, but not valued yet. I think it'll go up in value as time goes on. So, so Bella Curcio, please email me at the JHS show at jhspedals.com. Let's burn through these. We got five minutes. Okay. This has been fun. I hope you're having fun. If you are in the comments, let us know. Um, I actually enjoy this. <laughs> it's fun. You know, yeah. it's it's a review we of the... We do this a lot in the office. But. Yeah, we're just, we're externalizing a process that happens in the office. I'm going to save this one because this one's really good. Okay. Todd Schulling, the 70s called, they want their porn stashes back. Chris <laughs> DM 83 said, you talk way too much on your YouTube show that's about talking. Uh, Kay Ray said, Addison is looking like a Scream 1 era David Arquette. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Diago Augusto said, is Josh high in this video? Oh, God. Chase Erickson said, really wish the bassist in the background would quit making faces. So distracting and annoying, Addison. Come on, Addison. Um, he also said, I'll add to this. He's a decent bass player, but good God, is he distracting kissing Josh on his bum bum? <laughs> he seems just so fake. If there's anyone I've ever known that's not fake, it's Addison. It's true. I thought he was. And Addison, you make any... That. I reviewed uh, this next week's episode or something, and my favorite part was your emotion playing the bass. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop. Haters are going to hate. Make your face. Ray Jeeves, right. good God, I hope when Josh comes back, he doesn't have a mustache. Guys, John Holmes called. He, even he doesn't want the stash back. <laughs> There's a Seinfeld episode where George and Jerry are sitting at the cafe table, and they've had mustaches, and they both are like, there's like an awkward silence, and they both like, they freak out and admit like they feel like seventies porn stars, <laughs> and they should. It's just it's a great bit. K Town C said, "I'm really not sure why you guys let Nick even on this channel." My God, he's, <laughs> he's so cringe. Please, Josh, your channel would be patchy and not grow just like Nick's facial hair. Rover one hundred nine said, "Cool pedals, please shave." Mister Coleman said, "Can we please Superman his mustache off?" <laughs> uh, this is funny because it's the opposite of what the other email said Robert says you do realize that folks over 40 play guitar right and that they won't have telescopic microscopic zoom vision I can't read any of the markings on your pedals in the photos on your website even with my reading glasses that means he can't read any pedal <laughs> Chris Cross Nick looks like the guy who suspiciously hangs out at the local playground too much <laughs> Oh, um, this one's good. It's a it's a long one. Hello, my name is Alec, and I have a bit of an issue. I ordered this one's more funny than mean. I ordered the double barrel as a very special present for someone for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. 
As a three, as a 5.34 p.m. Christmas Eve, I have not received it. I was wondering if you had any way of telling me when it will be here and why it has taken so long. I know they are handmade, but when you run a special that's marketed as a discount for Christmas presents, you would expect that it would arrive for the actual holiday. It only seems logical. And also, did everyone that spent almost $300 nearly an entire month ago get scammed like I did? Or am I just a special exception? If there is a good reason, that's fine. I'm just frustrated. I really, which would, that would be frustrating. I totally get it. I really like your company and I want to continue to support what you are all, what you all are doing. Merry Christmas. Next email, same thread. It arrived 10 minutes ago. I'm a jerk and I apologize. You guys are great. Have a Merry Christmas. That is, that's, that is, you don't have any idea how often that happens. That's all I'll say. Two yeah. more, ready? Two more. Illumina said, I would like I would like to like these petals. However, I am triggered that they are all color white privilege. Oh. It would seem to me these petals are racist petals. These petals are the petals world the petal world's equivalent of the KKK. After Josh's shameful, cringy self-loathing apology a few months back, maybe you should be maybe you should have colored them commie red. Josh, to suit your politics. We single-handedly <laughs> are the most woke slash most conservative, conservative pedal company So we're like super conservative, super woke. Everything All in the between. Time. All the Everyone time. hates us. Everyone loves us. That is insane. So this, guy, this this dude whoever saying the three series is a white it's a it's white like how many white petals are in here every boss delay is white privilege there's a white rat I there's just, a white ross like that 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 whatever that is it's <laughs> in the box of the thing I was just saying about signaling it's just like this world of everything meaning and do like just want to make stuff and like make the world better and move on and it's like i don't understand these thought i don't understand the brain space of that and then saying commie red to align with my pol well how do you know my politics do i talk about politics <laughs> Never, yeah, yeah, jhs never is a company here's my rant i will say this jhs is a company made up of 40 different people right now with all types of different religions sexualities beliefs, political leanings, and that is JHS. JHS is not even me. First of all, you don't even know me. <laughs> so you definitely don't know the 40 other people. So for me, it's like diversity is a beautiful thing, and that's what I try to do here at JHS. There's people that I work with. We believe very different things, but we all learn from each other, and I think that's what the world needs. So the, the three series, they're just white petals. Move on. And I'm not a communist. Next question. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. Um, just as a reminder, if you want to pedal... Uh, that felt good, by the way. I think I've needed to say that for like four years. All right, go ahead. If you want to... Well, I'm struggling. <laughs> Words is hard. Um, email me, please, at the JHS show, at jhspedals.com. Send me your shipping address. Um, okay. This is my favorite. There's going to be an A word, so guard your Just, ears. Just, hey, you know, like I said. Bo Jangles. Said. <laughs> First of all, in the comments, if you've ever had a Bo Jangles chicken breakfast biscuit, drop it down because it's hot. Um, said, I don't have any JHS pedals. These videos dissuade me because I don't like to try anything that I see advertised. Just letting you guys know. This is a cool channel, but it totally makes me hesitant to try your stuff. Some of us need a little bit more of a creative approach. This is too comfortable. I don't want pedals that are comfortable. I want my mind to be blown. Make mind-blowing videos. I was a business major in college, took marketing, etc. This approach makes the product seem very boring, to me at least. FYI, I am 40. Try to get our demographic better. I don't want to sound too conventional. These videos seem like pedals that would make you sound like everybody else. I don't want to sound like anyone but me. Work on that. I beg you. Because I see JHS and I yawn. 
Everything is just so bland. Why so much white? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. For God's sake, it looks like a padded room. I don't need to go to a mental hospital, bro. Please, make your set less boring. I have been to Jackson. Most boring place I have ever been to. <laughs> go, go, go somewhere more interesting. All I remember is trailers and evangelists at every corner. Nobody likes that What does crap. that have to do with anything? For God's sake, don't take us to that boring ass place. I would rather eat a solid. All right. This person's probably drank a little. Uh, that's there's a there's a feeling to certain emails and messages. Here's the deal, you know. Make what you make, and just if you enjoy it, then it's worth doing. And to this person, I'd love to see your YouTube channel and how you're doing it better. Bojangles. Bojangles. And uh, since you're such a professional marketer, you know. <laughs> Tell us how to market better, because that wasn't very helpful. All right. That's it. This was really fun. I know that it seemed... There's like a there's like some psychological... Catharsis. Movie. There's a it's catharsis. catharsis. It's, it's nice to just get ran over and then stand up and be like, I'm cool. Like, there's just a nice feeling to it. I'm in the comments here. Thanks to everybody. Um... I, someone said Josh enjoys hate. I think there is like a weird part of me that, you know, I remember doing the boss collaboration and I struggled with haters. I really struggled. I'll close on this. This is to everybody. So if you're a creative, this is directly to you. If you're creating anything, I don't care what it is. You can be an artist, a photographer, a writer, anything you're creating. I want to tell you, people will hate it. But here's the unlock. This was huge for me. I really struggled. I used to read these comments and like really care and people would accuse me of stuff and it really bothered me. And I collaborated with Boss on the JB2 and I was standing in London and Yoshi, the president of Boss, were having this discussion and he's just such an amazing guy. And I walked up to him and I said, hey, I just want you to know like I there's like these haters and I just I struggle with this sometimes. Do you have any advice? And he looks me dead in the eyes. This is a huge moment for me. And he said, every time someone's hating on you, it means you're doing the right thing. You're being successful. Boss's greatest products are the most hated. And like something flipped in me. And he said, create things that you're happy with and people will connect with it and let haters hate. And it was like such a beautiful moment. And that was like huge for me. So my encouragement to you is at the end of a long roasting of people hating on us, it's fine. Uh, I can legitimately say it's really fun to read these and just encourage you guys to uh, just create, make the stuff that you make. And, you know, Taylor Swift said it. Haters going to hate. Indeed. That's Thanks, it. everybody. Bye-bye. I we... guess I'll close. Are we good? <laughs> this doesn't work. It doesn't work. Nothing either. works. We're still here. Yeah, we're Addison's here. coming out. Addison will close okay. it. We lost our steam. Thanks again, today. everybody.